I started in my hometown, Flekkefjord in Norway, when I was 10 years old. You can always see the people paddling from all the houses there, it's a fjord, so the houses are up in the hill, and then you see people paddling out, out on, the, on the fjord. My first coach, Olaf Søyland, it was not this kind of coach that would push small children to train really, really hard, but everything was about having fun and doing lots of different kind of training. Soccer, football, and skiing in the winter, and swimming, and so we did like everything. When I was like 16, 17, Knut Holman, he was my role model. My first kayak uh, was a British kayak, uh, Rapid von Baron, it's called, uh, the kayak. It was really, really bad, but uh, I thought it was the greatest kayak ever. My strength is the technique and uh, endurance. And also I have a good uh, racing uh, head, as we say. And my weakness is uh, the strength, just like this pure uh, muscle strength, that, my, that is my weakness. My technique is uh, all about uh, making the kayak move as smoothly as possible. No unexpected movements in the kayak, not the kayak jumping up and down and, or going from side to side. Arms are not my, my main focus, but uh, rotation and legs are what I try to focus on. person that likes to have uh, control over things. I also have to say I'm probably uh, uh, not a social type. I like to be alone and uh, that's something I, I, I am happy with and you know go hunting or just walk. Everything I do is then uh, about peaking once one time a year and that is the world championship. This year we are experimenting uh, a little bit with the uh, three times I will be high altitude before uh, the World Championship. My trainer is uh, Jan Matsen. He's a former uh, swimmer. He has a lot of scientific knowledge and that is uh, what I base my training on, not just on feelings. He is highly respected. The important thing for me in Seged is to, to know and see that I have the chance to win the gold in uh, London Olympics. So if I win the gold in Seged or get uh, third or fourth, it's not that important. The important thing is to see that the distance of the best guy is not too far. My favorite training camp location, I have to say, Florida. We have a place on the east coast in Florida, it's called Melbourne. There I've been, I, I figured out this year that I actually spent two years there altogether. <laughs> There's a lot of athletes, a lot of Canadian athletes and Swedish and Danish. Many people gathered, many athletes there that do exactly the same thing as you do, so you don't feel so stupid or insane as you may do when you're home and you are the only one training uh, very much. I'm only aiming for the K1000 now. That's enough for me and I think, uh, you know, you're getting older, you don't have, you have to be sure that uh, you don't uh, race too much or train too much. Uh, so one race is uh, everything I need now.